New Year's resolutions are kind of pointless. Let me explain. Happy New Year. So it is 2022, finally, after such a long year. And as every new year comes, people make resolutions. And today we're going to talk a little bit about that. I think it's upwards of 70% of U.S. adults fail their New Year's resolutions. And I think fundamentally that is because they treat it as a vague idea rather than like a very specific goal. A lot of people make resolutions like, I'm going to start to work out, I'm going to save more money, or I'm going to read more this year. Um, and I think the, the fundamental issue with those is how vague they are. Like, there's a reason people fail. It's because they don't give themselves guidelines, really. I think we can fix New Year's resolutions if we just rethink them a little bit. So rather than, I'm going to exercise more this year, think about it more. I'm going to build an exercise routine. You know, with that over time, you know, maybe you start out with a little bit of cardio then you start lifting, then you lift multiple times a week. And then let's say three, four months down the line, you're in a full workout regimen that's easy to get into because you start small and grow up. I'm going to save money. That's very vague. How much money? Where are you putting the money? Why are you saving money? Rather than I'm going to save money, how about I'm going to save X amount of money so I can do this rather than I'm going to read more this year. Put a specific number on it. Say, say you want to read 12 books in the year rather than saying, I want to read 12 books this year. Say, I'm going to read one book every month because that holds you more accountable. It means you have to read one book every single month of the year rather than pushing it off as long as you can. I think another fundamental issue with people's New Year's resolutions is they make so many. People want to drastically change their lives overnight, but that's just not very realistic. I would say that a good practice would be to stick to three to five, preferably three, but three to five core goals for the year and things that you want to change or improve in your life. Having a smaller number means they're more focused, more specific things. If you stretch yourself thin between 20 different goals you have for the year, you're more likely to fall behind and be okay with falling behind on those goals. So I'm not the biggest fan of resolutions, but I do still have some goals that I'd like to accomplish within the year of 2022. One of those goals is to make 30 YouTube videos of decent quality. I say decent because I'm still new at it, but 30 YouTube videos on this channel of good quality and videos that I want to make throughout the year. The reason 30 is it. I feel 30 is a lot more obtainable than let's say 52. One a week is a lot for someone who's never made. 30 is a little over once every other week. I think I can do that. Um, hopefully we smash it to be honest. I'd love to upload a lot more than 30. I have a ton of ideas in the works. A second is actually something I referenced earlier. I would like to read one book a month and there's a very good reason for that. Um, I have a lot of books. I'll actually, I'll get at them real quick. A lot of books, uh, like I said. <laughs> uh, we actually here have one, two, three, 24 books. And this isn't even all of them. I have a couple more back on campus. I'm hoping to read 12, once per month. I would say for my third biggest goal of the year is to become a better storyteller. I think through YouTube and making videos and photography as well, another big passion of mine, you have a great opportunity to tell stories, not just about yourself, but around the people, places, and things around you. And I'd like to become good at that. I'd like to be able to tell stories that matter to me and that people want to hear. So. Those are my big three for the year of 2022. Uh, I'll update you guys throughout the year, I'm sure. 
because that's the whole point. <laughs> accountability. All of you guys watching are actually my accountability partners this year. Happy New Year once again, everybody. I hope you have some specific goals in mind for the year after this video, maybe. And I hope that you can stick to them. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you have any specific goals that you're trying to accomplish this year in 2022. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Uh, I got a lot more coming, a lot of ideas, and I'm very excited for this year and to see what's to come for me and this channel. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one, whenever that may be. Oh man. <laughs> that might have been too loud. <laughs> So, I'm not very much... Ooh.